Remember when they hated, didn't think we make it Now they break their neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hit yourself, you can't look at me, look at me yeah. You made me And what up, what up, what up? What's good with y'all? Alright, so what are we getting into today? Today, we're about to be taking the notch back, aka the 5.0, aka the 50, aka the Fox body, over to 650 Motorsports. 650 is the guys that did Aaron's Fox body, and I'm about to be dropping my Fox off over there. And I'm either be having them redo a bunch of stuff on here and just revising this whole uh, thing up. And the reason why I'm doing this is because you guys know that I just finished up all the paperwork. And the other day I went to drive this thing to my boy's house, which is probably about maybe about at most five minutes away from my house. Like it's super close. Took the car around the corner. I get probably like three blocks away from my house. I'm at the light. And the car just dies. Took me about five minutes to get the car to start back up. Then when I finally get the start back up, I get to my boy Mars' house. The car's sitting there idling, um, just sitting there chomping away. And the next thing you know, as we're sitting there talking, I want to say about eight to ten minutes of it idling, car just dies. Wouldn't start back up. It was just dead. And I was like, what? So we checked a few things. Finally got the car to start back up. Again, the car sitting there idling. And then it just dies. And I was like, you know what? This is uh, this is wild. I'm like, I'm not about to be dealing with this because I do want to drive this car on the street. And I can't afford to be at the gym somewhere. Next thing you know, the car just dies. And now I'm stuck here. I know you guys want to see me <laughs> do the race with Aaron. I've been ready to do the race with Aaron. But, you know, Aaron's still waiting for his paperwork. My car is ready. We've been waiting for so long to do this. Uh, you guys know that I put this car together. In a just to race Aaron, I did not need to put this car together in a, but due to the race that you guys wanted to see with Aaron, I decided to do it in a, and I hate it. I should have just went with my first mind and put the turbo in. It actually cost me more money to gather everything to put this thing together in a to do this race with Aaron. And now it's probably not even gonna happen because what I don't want to happen is me go out to race Aaron next thing you know, the car freaking, it breaks down or I race Aaron and the car is hella sputtering. Like it's not running right, so. Um, it runs fine at one moment, then next you know, during a pull, it'll start sputtering. I'm just like, like, you know what? I'm not about to play with this old ass car and continue to play these old ass games, trying to track wiring, trying to figure like, nah, I'm, I'm over that. I'm done. With all that being said, I ended up ordering a, uh, Terminator X ECU. I also ordered the wiring harness. I ordered the, um, the Holly, uh, seven and a half inch, uh, EFI dash. So. We're, we're about to we're about to take this thing up to the next level. I'm sorry. I know you guys want to see the race on Aaron, but you know I'm not about to keep dumping a bunch of money into this car to try to get it to, you know, run right in this like NA form with the stock ECU stock harness. Like that was never the plan for this. So, you know, um, I'm sorry, man. I know y'all gonna be disappointed, but you know, from a money standpoint, it just doesn't make sense for me to throw more money at this thing to try to get it to run in this NA form when I have everything that's needed to do the turbo stuff. I'm dropping this thing off today, just to show y'all, feel me? Like no games being played, everything's in here. Whole turbo kit, everything's all up in here. Turbo's right there, uh, fuel pressure regulators here. I got the injectors. Right now it has the AEM 340 fuel pump, but I'm bringing an extra Walbro 450 fuel pump just in case. All the piping, down pipe, freaking the Y pipe to connect it. But then in the back seat right here, I don't know if you guys can see it, but the inner cooler is in there. So, like I said, I'm not about to be playing these games with this car, man. Um, I would have loved to race my brother Aaron, but we all know deep down inside, if this car was running 100% at full potential, how it should run, there's no reason why my car wouldn't be faster. It's like, obviously, it has more parts. It makes more power. So, it's a given that it's going to be faster. It's also the lighter car. I'm also the better driver. So, you know, it would have been more for the people. But I am sorry, man. I just can't continue to throw money at this thing and trying to get this stock set up to work no more. Let this thing sit here and idle for a little bit. Uh, this, this setup is super simple. I'm we'll probably be selling the, the shorties 
the uh, cold air intake, the mass airflow, and the injectors as a kit. That way somebody could just throw this on. Car will run perfectly fine. So if somebody was interested, just let me know. Couple hours have passed by. I just called AAA. They're about to be sliding through to pick this thing up. So we're about to go drop this off. But before we do that, right now I'm about to jump in this thing, take it around the corner, and I'm gonna go fill up some uh, gas in here. That way it just has a full tank. I know they're gonna be doing the tuning stuff and all that. Plus, it is way cheaper by my house to get gas versus getting gas over here by 650 Motorsports over in the bay because you know gas out there is damn near like 550, and we ain't paying that. Go get this four dollars and and uh, 91 cent gas. I noticed right here, my seatbelt is a little wet, so there is water still getting in here. That sucks. Seatbelt's a little wet. Carpet is all dry down here, kinda. Oh, it's a little damp. Man, how? All the seals are fresh. Like, all right, I don't understand that at all. I'll look at it when I get back. All right, so I just got done vacuuming a little water out right here. Man, I really don't see where any water can be getting in at. It's literally only wet right here. I may have figured it out. I think this door needs to be uh, tightened up a little bit more and adjusted, because look. You can see it's still moving, and then I can see it pressing against the seal, so it's probably coming through here and leaking down. Whereas on the other side over here, it's like super tight already right here. See, that doesn't move. I can't even see the seal, so I think the door just needs to be adjusted on that side. All right, here we go. There's our flatbed right there. So I'm about to start this thing up and load it up on the trailer. Out to 650 to get some boost, baby. loaded up and ready to get some boost so I do see a little fuel right here hoping that's just for me overfilling it and it was coming out of the uh, little fill plug or whatever but there's a little little fuel right there
right now me and Nita on our way home. Got another long drive, it's raining. So yeah, man, soon, soon, soon. We about to be out here with a boosted notch. You excited about the notch being boosted or what? Or you don't care? The next thing what? <laughs> the next the higher whatever whatever you can do to up up the horsepower, whatever. The power. <laughs> you think it's gonna break? Huh? You think I it's gonna break? Not, if you're gonna do eight pounds of boost. I said ten. You said eight on the way here. You said I'll just do eight. But I think I'm gonna do ten. Oh god. <laughs> twelve. I know twelve is safe. Yeah, I don't know how much boost we're going to run. Ed, the dude that uh, has other turbo notch, he said that uh, 10 is perfectly safe. I might just do 8. Like, I don't really care about the power. I know 10 pounds is going to be more than enough to break the transmission. So, um, anywhere after 400, I'm perfectly fine. I think realistically, at 10 PSI, it'll probably be somewhere between 450 and 500, somewhere around there. So, I don't know. I don't know exactly how much boost we're going to run, but I know I don't want this thing to blow up. So we are going to be planning safe. We, we're definitely going to be planning safe. Maybe eight pounds. That makes you feel better. Eight pounds. Eight pounds. Rock paper scissors. If I win, we do ten. If you win, we do no. eight. Ready? Eight pounds it is. 